Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Contingency X. My name is Travis, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite rifles. Uh, we're actually going to be talking about the Ruger 1022. For a lot of us, it was our first rifle uh, that we shot as a kid, and it's actually the first rifle that I bought for my fiance. Uh, what we're talking about is not your standard 1022. What we're going to be talking about today is the new Magpul X22, which is their new rifle chassis system. Uh, we recently just got this. This was just released, I think, about a week ago. And we're very excited to have this in, uh, in the studio today. And we're going to go through a demonstration of the rifle uh, chassis system, how it works, and give you some details on it. Um, first, as you notice, it is a complete system. It is a drop-in system for the 1022. Um, and it has a bunch of different features. So some of the cool features for this are it has an adjustable length of pull, adjustable height for your, uh, your cheek riser here, and inside it has an adjustable well or plate uh, so that you can go from a, st a standard pencil barrel that comes with most of the rear 1022s, or if you have an upgraded bull barrel, you can change that out as well. This particular one, I mean, honestly, I was a little bit too excited when I first got it, so I had already put it together and already started working on it, but I wanted to do a video for you guys to kind of show you that process. Um, please note, this does have a M-Lock um, adapter to it for a bipod. This does not come with that, but it was on here already, so I just kind of left it there. Um, but what it does come with is the chassis system and two more extension plates for you to be able to adjust your length of pull. Okay, I guess the first place to start is the installation or the process on the installation of the 1022 to the chassis. If you notice inside here in this bedding, there are three different screws. You have one, two, and three. What you have to do, depending on what type of barrel you have, is you're gonna take your key or your wrench and you're gonna undo these, okay? So the reason that you wanna do this is to be able to adjust the bedding for the type of barrel that you have. If you have a stock 1022, you can leave it just the way it is. If you have the bull barrel, this uh, portion needs to be flipped out. And I'll show you guys how to do that here real quick. The way that this was designed is it's very snug and very secure in here. It was actually quite difficult the first time I took this out. I was a little bit afraid that I would actually break it. But after doing it a couple of times, um, I haven't had any issues with it. And this is what I found to be the easiest. Um, is take a screwdriver and underneath the bedding right here, you're just gonna put the screwdriver in here and kind of pry up. You'll see the bedding actually lift up from the chassis. And what I do is just go to one side or the other and just kind of pry up. I think Magpul um, in their directions, they advise to do it a different way. This is just what I found works easiest for me. So you're gonna work that up a little bit and pull it right out. Okay, and there's your chassis without it. And this is your adapter. So if you look at one side, it's gonna be a lot narrower than the other side, okay? You might be able to get a better visual this way. So you can see this side is a lot more wide open for the bull barrel, and this side is a lot narrower for your pencil barrel or your stock barrel, depending on which one you have. The insulation process is the same. Um, it goes in or out, whichever way works best, and you just have three screws to put in. What I did when I first took this out, though, is I went ahead and took the M-Lock, the bipod adapter, um, and I went ahead and installed this on here first. And the reason I did that was because it was a little bit easier to do with this adapter out. So what I'll do is just go ahead and get that all tightened down. If you plan on putting any other M-Lock accessories on the chassis system, you have three spots to do that. You have your three o'clock, your six o'clock, and your nine o'clock. These work well for any kind of adapters if you wanna put a quick detach mount for a sling, a bipod adapter, a Picatinny rail section. Whatever you guys wanna do, you have your three, six, and your nine o'clock. Uh, for me, this is going to be a varmint rifle, uh, a little plinker. So I don't really care about having too much extra stuff on here, but 
but I always like shooting with a bipod and that's why I'm putting the bipod adapter on here. I think the bipod adapters are around $23, $25, something like that from Magpul um, and they work great. So now that I have that on there nice and secure, I'm gonna go ahead and take the insert and I'm gonna make sure I have the right side up. I'm using a stock pencil barrel. So I'm gonna put the skinny side upwards. I'm simply gonna slide that in and you can see it's a very snug fit and just some pressure and you're good to go. Uh, from here, it did not have any Loctite from the factory, so I don't think that you really need it. There's not a lot of recoil or a lot of things moving on down there. Um, so I'm not gonna add any Loctite just in case in the future I do decide to go and upgrade it to a bull barrel or anything else. Um, I'm just gonna leave it the way that it came from the factory. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reinstall these screws. So one of the questions that we had when we talked to a couple of our buddies in regards to this platform um, was how heavy is it? Um, so I actually brought a scale with us so we can find out what the weight is real quick. All right, so we have it set to pounds. That should be zeroed out if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead. All right, so we went ahead and we're, we're gonna zero out the scale and we're gonna take the rifle and we're gonna set it on top and see what it weighs in at. Okay. I can't see upside down, so whatever that says, that's the weight of it, okay guys? And again, this is the stock chassis system. Um, it does have the M-Lock, you know, attachment for a bipod, but that doesn't weigh very much anyways. So this is right about what your empty weight is, so to speak. Okay. So if you guys have ever worked on a 1022, the takedown and reassembly of it is super simple. Um, here's our 1022. We have the chamber open, obviously no ammunition. What you want to do um, is make sure that your safety is kind of in the middle like that. And you're simply going to paste the bedding down inside the chamber, or sorry, the chamber down inside the bedding. It's going to sit just like that. And it's really as simple as one screw. Okay, um, this video is not supposed to be about the installation or take apart of the 1022, but we'll just show you this anyways. And give it a good snug twist. You wanna check your action, make sure that's gonna work. Make sure your safeties work. Everything is good, function test and there you have it. This is the Ruger 1022 in the new Magpul X22 chassis system. Um, if you look underneath, you do have you know all the proper openings so that you could fit your magazines in there, uh, the whole nine yards. On this particular 1022, you know we added a Picatinny rail section up top, and then this is the Nikon P22. It's a great little scope for uh, for plinking. So. Any of you guys that have shot rifles before or shoot any kind of precision or anything of that nature, um, two of the biggest things that you want to make sure that your rifle is set up for is for your length of pull and for your cheek well or your cheek riser. Um, this particular one, the way that you can measure it with any rifle actually is by taking the buttstock, placing the rifle and taking your hand over and making sure that your, figure, your finger is comfortably sat inside the trigger. Now, for me, since I've already been playing with this rifle a little bit, I know that the cheek riser and the length of pull are not properly set for me. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to adjust those right now. In the very back, um, in the very back on the stock, there's 
one screw up top, you have another screw at the bottom, and then you have this little circular plate. The circular plate, I believe you can attach a quick detach uh, insert in here. I'm not gonna use a quick detach, so I'm gonna leave that alone. This particular one holds the rifle together and secure, but this screw right here up top is the one that you wanna adjust. So go ahead and take the screw out. Okay, and set that aside. From there, the stock is going to come apart. It comes with a basic uh, spacer plate right here. This is, you have to have this particular one. If you look at the angle of the top, it's a little bit different from these other ones. So the angle up top here is cut in where these are completely flat. It comes with two already pre-installed and it comes with two more in the package. If you notice, there's a lip on the inserts here. The lip goes towards the rifle. We're gonna slide those on. We're gonna slide on the, the last uh, plate here, adapter plate, and that's going to go onto the stock. Before you do that, if you know that you wanna adjust your cheek riser, the way that this comes off, once this is out, is you simply lift up on it, and that's it. I went ahead and visited our one of our local stores, Rifle Gear, and picked up the SGA Cheek Riser Kit. This comes with two different risers that are larger. They have a medium size and a large. I went with the large size because I know that I'm gonna need that. With all of my rifles, I tend to need a larger uh, cheek riser. And the large size actually comes with two different sizes, I believe, as well. Um, they're slightly different. I'm going to start off with the larger one, just because I believe it's going to be more comfortable for me. And the way that this installs is really simple. There is a cutout right here. There's your lip right there. You're simply going to insert. Let me do it this way. You're simply going to insert it into the lip and come down on it. Okay, once that's installed, you're gonna take the back end of the stock and you're gonna place it back in to the chassis system and you're gonna take the screw and reinstall it. Again, I don't know if there's any specific setting that you need for this um, torque wise. I'm just gonna do it hand tight. Uh, again, I'm not using any kind of Loctite just in case I need to make adjustments um, for you know me shooting this versus somebody else. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hand tighten that. And there you go. So you can see we added quite a bit of height to the cheek riser and two plates to the length of pull. Okay, next what we're gonna do again, uh, I love bipods, so I picked up a Harris bipod. This is the S-Series bipod, and I'm going to go ahead and get this installed here. Make sure that's tightened down all the way. Uh, I bought, I buy the bipods that have the swivel uh, feature to it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that down just so it doesn't fall over here. Okay. And then last but not least, in order to complete this build, I went out and I got the Magpul MS1 padded sling. Uh, never used this sling before, but since you know it's a Magpul chassis, I wanted to kind of keep everything Magpul. Why not try something new? Here is the Magpul padded sling. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that installed so that it will hook up from the front and the rear. Uh, one thing that I do not have with me right now is 
a bipod adapter to sling adapter. So unfortunately, I can't set this up right now. Uh, a slight oversight on my part, I apologize for that. But this is the sling that we are going to be using and I'll get, make sure to get pictures up uh, of that soon. But for now, this is the new Contingency X 1022 on the Magpul X22 uh, rifle chassis system. Um, again, this is going to be primarily utilized for plinking, target practice, things of that nature. Maybe we'll catch a, a varmint here and there. Um, but this is it. It's our, our, our new office, uh, our new office tool, toy, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, want to keep this video short. So again, we appreciate all of your support. If you guys have any questions uh, about this platform, we'll do our best to answer it for you. It is brand new. It does come in four different colors. It comes in the black, the tan, uh, OD green, and their tactical gray. I don't believe the OD green or the tactical gray are currently out at the time of this filming, but they will be out shortly. Uh, one of the other big reasons that we wanted to purchase this platform is we're super excited for the new Remington 700 Hunter chassis to be coming out by Magpul, which is virtually the same design, but it's built for the Remington 700 platform. Uh, that's another rifle system that we are going to be purchasing, so we'll do a review on that one as well. Uh, until then, be safe, have fun. We appreciate your time. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out all the information below. Again, if you guys have any questions, hit us up and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks a lot. We appreciate your time. Take care.